For this demonstration, we are going to walk through a scenario to understand how CrowdStrike's products provide the security operations team with invaluable information to help improve their organization's security posture. We will see how CrowdStrike's threat hunting, EDR, IT hygiene, and vulnerability assessment tools work together to improve incident response and remediation times. The CrowdStrike Cloud Delivered EDR solution provides unparalleled visibility into the events taking place on corporate endpoints. While that gives us great insight, we also gain the knowledge and experience of CrowdStrike's Overwatch team. As our EDR events are sent to the cloud, Overwatch is analyzing those events around the clock alongside the entire CrowdStrike threat graph to understand potentially new malicious behaviors. Having this force multiplier helps us detect smarter and really focus our efforts on the most important events. Here, we see an email alert on some potentially malicious activity seen in our environment. The alert indicates that one of our systems has been the victim of a Java exploit. It includes the host name of the impacted system, as well as the initial indicators of compromise. The link takes us directly to the UI to continue the investigation. The critical alert in question is labeled as a new Overwatch detection. The process tree view helps us understand quicker and see that the suspicious activity seems to start with Outlook. It appears that the user might have clicked on a link in a phishing email and was the victim of a Java exploit. As we drill down, we see the objective was follow through via exploitation for client execution. The process tree also shows that the activities continued, and upon inspection, this appears to be an ongoing attack. With that, our priority is to network contain this system. This will prevent any lateral movement or potential communication out to the internet. In the bottom left corner, you can see a continuous ping out from the victim system. This will help us understand the precise moment that the system loses network connectivity. After entering a comment for the audit log, the response is initiated. The first ping failure shows us the exact moment that the system's communications are completely interrupted. Now that we have this specific system under control, we want to confirm if there's anything unusual going on with the user's account. Let's copy the username for the next phase of the investigation using the Falcon Discover account search functionality. We can quickly see if this username has been leveraged on any other systems. This helps us understand if the credentials might have been compromised, which would be an immediate concern. You can see from this report that CS user has only logged on to one system in the past 10 days. Given there are no unexpected logins on other or more critical systems, we can continue our investigation. Now that the system is contained and we do not suspect that the user's credentials have been stolen, let's learn more about the attack that took place. Referring back to the process tree, we see a few common reconnaissance commands along with drop.exe. If we drill down on that executable, we see additional details, including prevalence and actor attribution to Hurricane Panda. The link takes us directly to the full actor profile with additional information, including the country of origin and the frequently targeted industries, including ours. Of great interest is this list of command and control domains. We can use this to understand if any of our other systems have tried to establish contact with Hurricane Panda. By switching over to the Investigate application, we see an option for bulk domain search. We can paste the Hurricane Panda domains into the search field and immediately see that one other machine, TMMIMN2, has tried to communicate with these known bad domains. This is cause for concern, and we will need to open a second investigation for that system. So far, we have found minimal evidence of this attack on any other systems. However, now that we know that Hurricane Panda is targeting our organization specifically, we can use the CrowdStrike intelligence reports to get proactive and bolster our defenses. We can share the known bad domains with the network team to prevent any further communications out. Also, referring back to the actor profile, 
we can reference the list of vulnerabilities Hurricane Panda often leverages. Falcon Spotlight, CrowdStrike's vulnerability assessment tool, can then check our environment in real time for hosts that are vulnerable to that CVE. Because it does not require a network scan, we quickly see that nine workstations are at risk. We can hand this list of machines over to our patch management team to ensure that they are remediated as soon as possible. Now that we have finished our investigation, we can report our findings and results back to management. Thanks to Overwatch, we were made aware of this malicious activity in our environment and given all the information needed to start the investigation. We were able to research the host, view details of the attack, and immediately isolate the system from the network to mitigate further infections. We verified that the victim user credentials had not been used to log on to any other or more critical systems. With CrowdStrike's intelligence services, we were able to go beyond that single system. The intel details gave us additional information to understand our adversary and better protect the rest of our environment. We were able to confirm that one other system had tried to establish communications with Hurricane Panda's commonly used command and control servers. Lastly, based on the CVE that Hurricane Panda often uses, we were able to determine that nine systems require immediate patching. Thanks to CrowdStrike, we identified and contained the initial incident while also improving our company's overall security posture going forward, all through one cloud-based interface in as few as five minutes.